Novak Djokovic versus Taylor Fritz is the second semi-final for the Shanghai Masters for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Fritz entered the tournament as the number seven seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier at main, and after a close couple of tie breaks, he'd get through in straights. 7-6-7-6. Seven, six, seven, six. In the third round, he'd take on another qualifier, Watanuki. This is too easy getting through in straights. 6-3-6-4. Six, six, in the fourth round, he'd take on Runa, the 12th seed, who had just beaten Berrettini and Lehechka to get to this stage. But it was no match for Fritz, demolishing Runa, 6-1-6-2, six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Finals, he'd take on Goffan, who had just beaten Zverev in the previous round. And again, Fritz too good, getting through in straights. 6 3 6 4 to advance to the semi final. Djokovic entered the tournament as a number four seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson. And after saving multiple set points in the second set, Djokovic would win in straights. 7 6 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Kaboli, 28 seed, who had just beaten Vavrinka in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Tafulin. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the unseeded Menzik, who been very impressive this week. And after dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win 6 7 6 1 6 4 to advance to the semi finals. These guys have played nine times before, with Djokovic winning all nine matches, including a match in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open this year, where Djokovic got a four set win. But that was the closest that Fritz has come in a long, long time to beating Djokovic. And of course, since that Australian Open quarterfinal, Djokovic has not been the same guy that Fritz has had to play in the past. So if Fritz is ever going to beat Djokovic, it feels like now might be the best time for him to get a win. Taking a look at the shot quality for the week for this tournament, starting with the serve, Fritz at a 9.0 ahead of Djokovic's 8.1, so Fritz's serve really, really good this week. Fritz also on the returns a little bit higher than Djokovic too at a 7.7 .7 compared to a 7.4, so that's a bit strange. When it comes to the forehand though, Djokovic dominant with a 9.2 compared to Fritz's 8.4, and also the backhand Djokovic at an 8.5, Fritz at a 7.6, so Djokovic is going to pick on that backhand if he can get the returns back, because of course that serve is huge for Fritz, but if Fritz is going to win this one, he needs to avoid Djokovic's forehand and also serve super well, but this could be a real banger. The shot quality is coming calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter, link down in the description. Really excited for this matchup. I reckon Fritz, the perfect time to play Djokovic, like I said, who's not playing his best. Fritz has been playing some of his best tennis, but I still got to go with Djokovic in three sets. I can't go past Novak. 9-0 in favor of him in the head-to-head. -head. Just too one-sided. I don't think Fritz is going to get in this time, but I reckon he'll come close. Djokovic in three for me, but who's making the final? Let me know down in the comments below.